the book Alive, the Story of the Andy Survivors, and it is written by Pierce Paul Reed, and um, he's written several other books, and some of his earlier ones with Game in Heaven with Tussie Marks, which was written in 1966, and The Junkers, which was written in 1968, and the more recent ones were uh, Death of a Pope, which was written in 2009, and The Misogynist, which was written in 2010. And this book was published in 1974, um, and that was two years after the actual accident, and this book is written for a more, more mature audience, definitely anywhere from young adults to adults, but definitely not for younger children. This book is a very challenging read. It has, you know, a very complex, you know, words in it, and that's really, <laughs> and it's, you know, a long book. It's, it's very intimidating. It's 400 pages, and, um, is very graphic, so I would, you know, not recommend it to a small child because it is very graphic and they don't hold back at all. This book is about a Uruguayan rugby team, and they are going to Chile for a competition, and so they have to fly over the Andes Mountains. And while they're doing that, the altitude becomes too much, and their plane actually goes down. And you get to watch them struggle the entire way through, which is extremely heart-wrenching. And that's one of the things that I actually liked about it, which it was very heart-wrenching. You know, it evoked a lot of feeling. And it really made you think about the situation that, you know, they're in. And by the end of it, I felt like I knew the people, you know, knew all the characters, because it really, you know, it gives you an insight on their entire life before it actually starts, which, you know, is a great thing. And it really makes you, you know, think about, you know, once again about the situation, and it shows you how much loyalty and how much trust and how much compassion that you would have to have in your friends in order to get through the situation. And, of course, not all of them survived, but the people who actually stuck together and worked to get out of the situation are the people that actually survived. And you can definitely see this in the, throughout the entire thing. And, you know, one of the m more incredible things about the book is that throughout there are people that don't like each other, but towards the end, you know, they learn to work together and they overcame their differences and they, you know, became like brothers in this situation. And some of the things that I didn't like, you know, it was challenging, but that kind of goes in hand with, um, with what I do like because, you know, it really did challenge me. And um, another thing is throughout the book, they separate different chapters, like, you know, one chapter will be about showing you know, them in the Andes Mountains and watching them, you know, trying to get out. And then the next chapter would be the rescuers. But sometimes for, like, three chapters, it'd be just them in the mountains and showing, you know, different things. And that wasn't that big of a problem, but I definitely would have liked a little, you know, a little change here and there throughout the big chunks of things. And um, the different sources were uh, mostly two Uruguayan journalists, Antonio uh, Merceder and Eugenio Hintz. And um, also, they talked to the families of the survivors and the actual survivors, which is really cool because they actually got the inside story on what exactly happened and the, you know, the struggle that they had to go through. And um, there was actually some um, cool biographical parts throughout the book where um, you got to read letters that they actually wrote. And um, they'd write them to, you know, to their loved ones back home. And it would, you know, it really shows how, like, what you actually go through, and, um, act, like, thinking that it could be your last day, any day could be your last day, and you have these letters that if someone survives, they could bring them back to your loved ones, and they know how you feel and what you actually went through, and, um, I thought that was really awesome, and, um, yeah, they had some dates in it, and not like actual dates like year, month, day, they had dates like, you know, day one, day two, week one, week two, and, um, there were some pictures and there were some maps in it, which I actually I like because it's a longer book and I do like pictures. And they do have some pictures like, you know, they have pictures of most of the people. Not, I'm not most of them, but they have pictures of a lot of the people that were actually there. And they have pictures of, they actually have, they have maps of like, um of where they were, and, you know, it sh there shows a picture of where the maps actually, or where the planes went down, and then they show um, where they ended up, and then they have, pi like, on the map, they have pictures of where the rescue team went, and where the family went to look for them, and how far into the Andes Mountains they were, and it, it's, I like it because it really shows, you know, how much of a struggle it would have to been if they, you know, walked the entire way out, and I thought that was 
that was pretty neat. And, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this book to, you know, anybody that is older. It is, you know, it is a great book. It is everything that you look for in a good book. It is suspenseful. It is exciting. It is heart-wrenching. It evokes so much feeling. And, you, you know, you feel compassion by the end of the book to everyone in there and all the survivors. And it was amazing. And I loved it. And I would definitely recommend this to anybody. So, yeah, go to your local library, kids, and go and get this book.